it's the morning before the bike trip. Funny thing is, we still haven't decided on an actual destination. All we know now is, apparently we're going to Montenegro. But I guess that could change today, depending on how our discussions go. Also, due to the fact that I've been uh, busy with a whole lot of other things, I haven't been able to pack anything yet. So tonight around 8 o'clock when I finally get home, I have to pack, prep the bike and still get some sleep. It's gonna be fun! Our trip was a mishmash of plans that had been changing for the better part of the year. But one thing was clear, we were going on a road trip regardless of our destination. <laughs> We met the next day on the highway to Pitești. Little did I know that I would end up waiting there for a couple of hours until the guys got their insurance papers sorted. Drove most of the way in 40 degree heat, only stopping for fuel and water. Regardless of the exhausting heat, spirits were high which kept us going until we reached Serbia. We've been driving down this road for about an hour now and there's nobody on the road, absolutely nobody. But it's unbelievably nice. Just look, look at the mountains. We should be very close to the place we're staying at tonight. Can't wait to get there. It's been scorching hot all day. It said like 41 degrees, but uh, in this dress up, I think it feels like 50. Not having planned anything in advance meant that we could simply go online, book a place wherever we felt like calling it a day. Always. That's how we ended up staying in this place. It fitted our budget nicely and it had the mandatory pool needed to cool down after such a scorching hot day. Little did we know that we would get the added benefit of a homemade meal and fresh Shopska salad in the process. Lorenzo Lama style. We ended up playing for the privilege of getting the towels for everyone and these were really high stakes as none of us wanted to get out of the pool. Can beat rock. It covers the rock. What about Vulcan? <laughs> <laughs> lizard. Vulcan if, lizard. If spot. paper <laughs> cover the rock, for sure the paper could cover also the scissor. No, because he's, go he's going to cut it. So on three, on three, the loser has to go and get the towels. And if one wins from the beginning, he's so out, and the other two so how remain in. And what about the sign for each? It's Rock? Yes. Paper? Paper. Scissors. Okay. Here. Okay. We did this when we <laughs> I was with Sergio and Anastasio for the single bed. <laughs> 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 and who got the lucky one, huh? <laughs> so on three we show, huh? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I am increasing my arms. <laughs> no, just one hand. One, one two, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tie. Because no, no, I beat no. you, yeah, he beats him. No, no, because you beat him. 
and then I beat you. No, he's no, no. already broken. So. <laughs> no, no. This is the tie. We go again. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Jonas beats the both of us, so it's between you and me. One, two, three. Ah, ah, you go ah, get the towels. <laughs> Our next day started on a high note, high temperatures and beautiful roads. We were making our usual refuel stops, but these were getting weirder all the time, so we blamed it on the heat. The adventure really began when we stopped for lunch Tell and... Tell viewers what, did, what you did. I tried to start the bike. And? And it didn't start. And? And... Uh, so. So. We tried to start the bike for like 10 minutes. 15? <laughs> Maybe. It's so hot, who knows? Feels like an hour. Now let's. Uh, we're letting it cool down yeah. in the shade and try again in the next 10 minutes. We'll keep you posted. Yunus doesn't want anything to do with us. He's retreated, retreated to his own corner. We even went as far as to try and push start the bike, but that didn't really do anything. I think we need to call somebody. For the past hour. Um, we called the guy in a city near here, um, he said that he's closing in an hour and unless we can get to him, there's no way he can help. But the bike doesn't start, so there's no way we can push it 10 kilometers to his workshop. We're not now trying to call anyone, everyone else we can find. We even tried to push it a couple of times, but that obviously didn't work. It was just as simple as cranking up the acceleration while trying to start it. This guy just pulled off, pulled up, did it in 20 seconds got 20 euros from your nudes and now uh, he's leaving. Tell us a little bit about Montenegro. Montenegro, it's uh, uh, one of the countries of former Yugoslavia. Um, Let's invite your nudes also into the picture. What do you know about Montenegro? It's uh, Chernogore. 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 I, I suppose there's a black mountain somewhere. Because it's called the Black Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Cerno Mountain. Yeah. Monte Negro. Are you a racist? Hey, it's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't call it Montenegro. <laughs> I would it's have like called uh, it Zwarte Pit. <laughs> 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 we are here. We are here, here and we. That's the position. Ah. Ah. Okay. Good. You have to step into the map to see. It's big phone, so it's fine. Why you turn uh, louder? Okay. okay. So, left and then right. Two more bikes. Good morning from Montenegro. Good morning, Mineta. Shalom, Mutsen. Shalom, Mutsen.
have a straight. We're going to the Durmitor National Park. This is called Tara Bridge. From what I understand, it's one of the most famous in Montenegro. Just look at this view, huh? Yeah, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> Yunus, what do you know about the lake? About the Cerno, Jezero, the Lacul Negro, the Black Lake. There's some stunning views here. The Black Lake was absolutely gorgeous and definitely worth the walk. Really nice. What started as a relaxing day of riding would turn out to be so much more. It was to be a sightseeing day with one clear destination, Croatia. This was supposed to be the only place where we would spend two nights and take a break from riding. Our plan to cross the Durmitor Park and head for Dubrovnik was going great so far. Breathtaking views combined with lower temperatures due to the high elevation were making the ride more enjoyable than ever. However, as we kept going up the mountain this got chillier and chillier, culminating in a full-blown rainstorm. It actually got so cold that my camera battery died. This is where we come from. It's unbelievably beautiful, but we got a shit storm on us. <laughs> it was not really relaxed when I heard all the thunder and saw the lightning. Saw the lightning, eh? I don't want to be struck by lightning. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere on huge pieces of metal. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Does that protect you from lightning? <laughs> this is what it looks like just over the ridge over there. That's where we came from and got rained on. And here, nice and sunny. 
but it's absolutely amazing on this road. Fatigue was also catching up to us. Having ridden over a thousand kilometers in just two and a half days would eventually take its toll. And things would only get worse from here on out. Enthusiasm, combined with a lack of experience and tiredness, would lead to our first predicament. Try not to break too hard and <laughs> use the use the clutch, clutch. to uh, yeah. Yeah, break. Yeah, no. You can accelerate and break at the same time, which gives the bike stability at very low speeds. Yeah, I know, it's uh, only at the uh, foot brake. Yeah, we so you break. Any, any other choice. Yeah. yeah. And we'll go slow. Yeah. Okay. How far is it still? 150. To Dubrovnik. To Dubrovnik. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no highways, right? No. No. Okay. Let's go then! Perhaps we tried to push on too soon, too fast, but the reality is that coming over that corner and realizing that there were only two of us on the road gave me the scare of a lifetime. All I remember is taking the turn and seeing Janut stopped on the side of the road saying that he never made the turn, he went straight. Only when we realized that everyone was safe, we switched into problem solving mode. It became clear that the only plans we had made for the trip would now have to change. Chu just had a bad crash. His bike went out on the side of the road. Down there. And Yonuts went and got these guys to help us get the bike out. You are crazy, really. I know, but... We have a saying in Romania, Sarav de Shibaba se piaptena. But you know what I mean? The country is on fire and the old lady brush her hair. We had no choice but to load the bike onto a truck and head for the city of Podgorica where we would try and get it fixed. Friends! Friends yes. Yeah. From family, Romania. Romania. Oh, big kilometer. Oh. <laughs> City. Bucharest. I'm in the truck, driving to Podgorica. Po po Hello. Is, uh, gentlemen, thanks. We managed to lose them. <laughs> We're now at the motorcycle shop. Where they pointed out that we should meet, but they aren't to be seen, and apparently they, they arrived. So now we're trying to find out where's Chu, where's the motorbike, and where do we meet. <sighs> Looking forward to a shower tonight. So we found Chu. We parked the bike behind this hotel. Yeah. Right there. And now they're trying to find us a place to stay for the evening. 
they're checking the hotel to see if it's uh, nice enough or maybe we can use their Wi-Fi to book another hotel. We'll see what we can do tomorrow to fix the bike and whether we can ride it home or send it back in a truck. Can't wait for that shower. We took the final picture of the day in the hotel's jacuzzi, reflecting on how much worse our day could have been. We started the next day in the city of Podgorica, trying to get the bike fixed to continue our journey. Quick update. Yes, so now we're at uh, Eiffel Motors. Uh, it's half past 12, a bit early. <laughs> we said it would be uh, finished around 3, but yeah. So we wanted to check uh, whether or not we we're lucky and they're uh, early. But they said that the part, the, the lever, it's hard to find for this old bike. So it will not be fixed today. Uh, they will update us within two hours. Yeah. To see whether or not they can find the part. They'll send us a text if they can fix it tomorrow. Or <laughs> uh, just don't want to think about it. Or we'll have to figure out some, some other way. Maybe ship it to Romania and get you in the passenger seat. That's the worst case scenario, I suppose. I guess we'll come back in two hours when we know more. However, it seems like the adventure won't stop here. Tell our audience what's going on. Um, we are going to the reception to check uh, whether or not we can find a different hotel. Because we are forced, forced out of the hotel uh, where we're staying now because Yunuts is... Uh, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he destroyed the room like a rock star. Mm -hmm. Put the bags back on the bike. Left them here. Now we're getting ready to move to the next hotel. Oh, this is much more adventurous than we thought. <laughs> The hotel said they'd recommend another place for us to stay as they were fully booked that evening, so... This turned out to be quite bad, even though we ended up paying pretty much the same amount as our previous night. So instead of spending too much time in there, we decided to hop into a taxi and explore the town a little. The taxis here were extremely cheap, so naturally, safety was their main concern. Republic of Good Food. Thank you. So the looks were deceiving. This works better than the other one. How do you feel about the taxes? You pay, get what you pay for. <laughs> How much was it? One euro. Okay. I give him 120. 20% 20 percent. 20 percent. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Big Spender, huh? <laughs> ah, of course. We ended up going through a few places in town before eventually going back for some much needed rest. The next days turned out to be quite quiet compared to the rest of our trip. We kept heading home now that the bike was fixed, stopping briefly on the way. We 
did have one more event for the counter, but of a completely different nature. This is the same room as we had before. Only less itchy. What do you mean? Whatever do you mean? Whatever do you mean, governor? So why, why did we have to change it? At the border with Romania. Finally. Going back home, huh? On the road again. 